Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where today we are going to take Tainted Isaac to Mega Satan, hopefully, because that's what I feel like doing right now, and as such, that's gonna be the plan. Theoretically, I no longer have as big of a headache as the previous run, on account that it is several hours later in my time zone in your time zone it might be a full day later it's amazing how recording works in that regard but so far i've run into all sorts of things and we are two rooms in so i wouldn't exactly hedge my bets on this being the most successful run unless we get some sort of miracle build or something along those lines but we do have a decent amount of money so that's at least a decent start. All the enemies are just exploding, so that's also quite helpful. And hopefully we can keep that level of positivity, good vibes, and general me not having to do things um, to a maximum. The entirety of the run. The burning basement start is a little rough, but it is what it is. There is a sticky penny right there. Sticky nickel. But if we take that, we'll have 15 coins, so then at that point we might as well enter the shop. Also, this floor is apparently enormous, but... Who knows, maybe we'll get a hangman card and we'll be able to do something with that big room over there. We'll just grab this because I think just being able to afford shop things might end up being useful. If we can get birthright again, then we can carry more items as Tainted Isaac after all, so that'll be quite useful. And yeah, apparently uh, both the item room and the shop were next to this initial big room that I wanted to avoid as much as possible. So all in all, pretty exciting. At least this big room isn't the most scary of big rooms, but it is a little filled to the brim with champions, and I'm not loving that. Fortunately, the champions cannot actually shoot forward, but combined with the ones that actually can, it is a little frightening. But most of those are dead, so we're good. We're good. No worries. Now, Poop Trinket would actually be really nice here due to the large quantity of poops available in this room. Also, we do not have to go quick because we've already done boss rush and hush. So I can simply take my time and not worry too much about the variety of flies and things in here. Not worry about whatever boss is going to come my way. Don't need any particular consumables, but key would be nice at some point. Now, coupon would actually be lovely because that does make certain... Shopping trips a little bit more fun. Also, Mulligan is probably better than Telekinesis. Free Bomb. Never bothered by that. Probably should have not pressed that button, though. But, I mean, if there was an item that told me what buttons did and it would be a negative effect, I'd still probably press the button just because buttons are a fun time to press. So, let's take that. That will put one item on sale, but I'll just take the bomb for free instead. We could take devil deals with this, but obviously I would rather go to Mega Satan, so we are going to need some way or another to actually open up the door at the end. That is most likely going to be Angel Room related. Of course, it does require me to actually make our way there rather effortlessly. We will need either some kind of protection like Soul Hearts or just not get hit. And I feel like the not get hit thing is a little precarious right now, but this boss will drop a soul heart upon death. So at least we'll have one. Assuming we don't just die here, but with the mulligan, I do feel like we're going to deal decent amounts of damage due to the amount of flies that we will be spawning. I kind of do want to look for my secret room. There is at least one key that I can get on this floor if we use a bomb for it, and I think I will if we uh, don't get one out of our secret room, which might be next to the curse room. So that'll be lovely. I'm also curious what we're going to get from this boss. We will, of course, get a bandage ball, but we can also take tier rate. And tier rate would actually be kind of nice right now, so I'm a little tempted. Unfortunately, it does look like the secret room can be on either direction of the curse room from the first look of things. Okay, maybe not on this side, though, so that does help out a little bit. But let's see if we can maybe bomb this room right here. And it is actually a fairly kind basement secret room. So, you know, a rarity, all things considered. I will actually buy the key. I will still 
bomb for the other key as well in case there is a super secret room over there, which there could be. The super secret room could, I think, also be next to the big room technically, just because it was immediately next to the starting room, but we'll, we'll see, I suppose. It doesn't really matter in the end of the day, but it would be nice. Unfortunately, the super secret room was not over there, but yeah, fair enough. It doesn't really matter too much, but we, at least we have two keys now. We can enter the shop on the next floor, which means we'll be able to use our coupon on something, which would be nice. And I will actually go for tier 8. Even though the defense of the bandage ball might actually be a little bit better, I, don't, I do not mind having the early tier 8. If we find rock bottom again, then... Obviously getting as many startups as possible would be nice. There is a battery beggar over there, which we could blow up for some more demon uh, devil deal chance if we end up taking red heart damage somewhere along the line. It's not immediately likely, but on a cellar you can get just a little unlucky with spiders and such, so it, there is some danger to be had here. But fair enough, there's a big room right there, there is a shop right here. Going to the big room actually isn't too terrible right now. Simply due to the fact that uh, we still need a couple of charges before we can use our coupon anyway, so don't mind it. Now I could um, use the coupon on a devil deal and then we'd get a free devil deal item um, without losing our angel room chance, but if we do skip that room entirely then... Uh, Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Uh, let me give let me just have a good think about that one. If we skip the devil deal entirely, then we'll just have zero percent chance of a devil deal later on, and that is obviously a little bit more guaranteed in terms of getting enough key pieces to actually make it to the end. Also, if I could just avoid running into poops like that from this point on, that would be lovely. I don't think either item is unfortunately something I would really love right now. The main difficulty right now is that I'm not playing great. <laughs> Today is not a day of optimal Isaac play, I'm starting to realize as this day is progressing. And as such, soy milk isn't great. Um, just because it's a little bit tricky of an item if you're not playing very well that day. And... I don't really want to get rid of the coupon either. Uh, I'll use that, get a free key, not bad. Yeah, let me have a think about that one because it's uh, it's interesting. I think the plum flute, I mean, it would be good for the Lord of the Flies transformation for one. It would be pretty good against the boss as well. It would be good for our mental health because we'd see more of little plum. And that is always a positive, I would say, at the end of the day. Um, yeah, hmm. ah, I don't know. I do like the coupon, especially because it means that you don't have to worry about money so much. You always get one item on sale guaranteed as long as you're holding the coupon as well. And that's just quite nice, but you also just get free items whenever you use that active item effect after all. We might get a devil deal later on in the run uh, after the first angel room, so that would obviously be quite nice as well. But, I don't know. Also, I'm not sure where my secret room is, because I think... Mm, it might be, like, over here. It might be up top here as well. Um, let me actually just real quickly check this. Yeah, it could be over there for sure. I'm gonna see if I can hit both if I just place it over here. That might have been too far away from the northern wall to open up a secret room, but yeah. Mm. I think, I think it's Plum Flute time. I've given it some more thought. Well, not a whole lot, but some more. And I don't know, I kind of don't hate it. As much fun as soy milk is, and especially if you can get yourself a rock bottom of sorts, then obviously it's amazing because your damage won't go down and high, even just standard damage soy milk is just amazing, but... Mm. I don't know. Shouldn't have used it immediately. Instant regret. There we go. That's that damage you get with that. This is a pretty good way of not getting Dad's lost coin, which is quite nice. I'll just take both of those. And I think that's just going to be it. I'm still a little bit tempted by the coupon. 
but I think I'm just gonna go... I could go for that gray chest just to get a little bit more consumables, I suppose. That wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. But that's really all I got right now. But I would love some more bombs, really. There we go. I mostly avoided that earlier because I was scared. <laughs> also, I probably shouldn't have picked up those two hearts so I could have entered the curse room as well, but... It is what it is. We'll just go on like this and hope for the best. Overall, not the worst start. It's a little dicey in terms of consumables, but other than that... We got some tier 8, we got plum flute, we got good times, we got curse of the blind, which is not great. Admittedly, it's not ideal. But not the worst thing in the world at the end of the day. Um, with this character you can just get rid of items after all, once you reach the maximum amount of items you can carry around. So there is some positiveness about it. But the downside of course is that you're switching between two items the entire time you're not seeing what two items you are choosing between with Curse of the Blind, so... That's a little bit of a downside for sure. Also not sure if key pieces actually rotate between two different items. I don't think so. Uh, simply because it is like a quest item technically and those tend to work a little bit differently, but if it does rotate then I'm gonna be in trouble. Because I'm definitely going to pick up the wrong item, so um, hopefully that doesn't happen, but fairly sure that's impossible. I'm just going to use this in the middle of the room. Hopefully that little plum destroys a couple of them. Yeah, look at him go. Excellent usage of the plum flute once again. Almost half recharged. One could say entirely half recharged after that singular big room. I was definitely trying to say two different sentences at the same time. And as such, it became a little bit of a lie, but it, you know, that's just the way speaking works, but as long as we look past that, we're gonna be okay at the end of the day. Optimal use of that black heart, not getting hit by the champion, but getting hit by the regular version instead. Just actually gonna use that against this room because I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> I do not trust myself with a room like this right now. I saw some movement that I was doing while I was doing it and it didn't look optimal, so... Fortunately, that one didn't shoot vertically, otherwise I definitely would have gotten hit there, but it worked out uh, once again, so that's good. It was a kind mushroom today. And slowly but surely we are making our way forward throughout this run. Even if it is a little bit dicey in terms of whether or not my brain works, but so far it's working out. As long as the enemies just kind of work with me, then I don't mind it. It's a pretty big floor once again. That's probably a super secret room. I'm almost kind of tempted to try it, actually. There might actually be a secret room over here. Is, is that in the middle? It is in the middle. All right, so there could be a secret room over there as well, but it could be next to the big room as well. Certainly some possibilities. I don't think it's next to the, to the item room over there, because I think there was a big hole in that uh, kind of big vertical room, so that doesn't seem possible. It cannot be on this side, so that's good to know. There's a shop, so the super secret room could actually be over here, but just because the way that, like the layout of that room that's slightly further up ahead, I don't feel like it's right here, right? Can't see what it is. Can blow this guy up though for a little bit more money. I can pick between one of two great items. We have picked the ladder. Which actually kind of works out because it means we can get another bomb, so I don't mind that too much. Uh, this is also not great, but fair enough. Hallowed ground, I mean, it's fine, but... It's uh, not ideal. <laughs> Hopefully... Uh, we can get a build that's a little bit more usable as the run progresses, but eh, it's not the worst build so far. I mean, Mulligan is helping out a lot in this run, I will say. And of course, the Plum Flute as well. That's actually two pieces of Lord of the Flies already, I guess. Which I hadn't even really considered until now. Also, maybe shouldn't have used the Plum Flute there immediately, but it does make this build significantly easier. We got ourselves an Angel Room there. Even more tier 8. We have maxed out on tier 8, so that's nice, I suppose. Scapular could be okay. <laughs> I guess. It'll do. 
And we have ourselves an Angel. I would have actually liked to have the Plum Flute available for this fight, just because Angels are a little bit fiddly if your build is not great. But, I mean, what are you going to do? At least we have the Mulligan and High Tirade, so we should be shooting as many flies at the enemy here as possible. Plus, um, so far he's being rather kind. That also does actually help if I can get a little bit closer to that. And I need you to sort of stand still over there. That worked out. Little bit dicey for sure, but whatever. Not really whatever. That This is getting kind of worrying in terms of a health situation, I suppose. But we could maybe check out the curse room. Given that we've gotten a angel room on caves one, it's not too terrible. Uh, we can check this place out a little bit here. There we go. That's a black heart. Not bad. I'm a little tempted to check out um, the challenge room just because there's a golden chest in there. That's really all I got, though. I'm going to see if we can at least get some more coins with that ladder, because we should be able to. And I'm going to see if the super secret room is over there. And indeed it is. So that's something. It is not much. Although we, we do have actually, uh, we have a lot of red hearts on this floor. Ooh, and the hallowed ground poop is stopping us from taking damage while we're doing this. Which is definitely not a mechanic that I forget consistently. So that is working out wonderfully. Let's just get all of that. We are going to be here for a minute. <laughs> Let's make this as defensive as possible. If I stand in the middle of these two, I will never take damage, surely. It is actually surprisingly effective, this. Um, I'm going to take that one. Red key! Okay, that's interesting. Mm, that does allow for some shenanigans for sure. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what to do here exactly because I do like me a red key for sure. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Because I do like me a plum flute as well. That's the thing. Like plum flute's just fun, you know? Ah, tricky. I'm trying to remember the rules of uh, the super duper ultra secret room, and I'm I'm feeling like it could be here. It isn't, but I feel like it could have been, and that's exciting enough for me. Hmm, I don't know. I don't really. I'm not really good enough with the red key. I feel to take this, but it could be interesting. It's also cool that it gives you like um, a secret room item if you get the uh, donation machine, like the blood donation machine to pay out like that, if it switches between the two items, which I guess makes sense, but I haven't e I hadn't even really considered that really. I probably could have gone for the first item instead to maybe get a blood bag, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be an active item or not, so that's why I went for the other one. Um, which then in turn became a little bit more interesting as well. All right, so that recharges that. Um, <laughs> once again, having a little bit of a thought, trying to figure out where the Hyper Omega secret room is. Could it be near the top or something? I genuinely don't fully remember the rules anymore. <laughs> It needed to be next to like two valid red rooms or something like that, right? Yeah, something like that. There is two different directions, three different directions I can go into here. Where it would be following those rules. And that does appear to be a really cool looking secret room over there, so that's wonderful. Don't know what that is, but I'm sure it's fun. It's alright, actually. I don't hate that. Plus, this gives us our eighth item. So the next thing we pick up is going to replace the item we have. So I might actually give the beggar some stuff. 
to see if we can get something better than what we currently have. There is not a sacrifice room on this floor, because otherwise I would probably mess around with scapular a little bit as well. Might get rid of some tier rate, you know, because... Um, quite frankly, my tier rate is not exactly a problem right now. I kind of want to keep scapular, I think. Empress card, oh, I mean, it's better than nothing. Um, crooked Penny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, that... Yeah, that always happens, doesn't it? I should have picked up the thing. Alright, we're going with Crooked Penny. This could be wild. I'm actually... I mean, I'm expecting this to just eat all of my items, but... In that particular instance, it didn't matter too much. But it could be interesting. Should I really get rid of tier 8 instead of the ladder? I feel like that might not be the best choice, but... Uh, we'll see. How far are we? Catacom Curse the blind again? Are you serious? Come on! Can you not, though? Because that is just rude. I'd love to be able to see what we're dealing with here. That's really good. Uh, does this give more tier 8? I'm actually not sure. It's the same, right? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm, tricky. I guess I'm gonna get rid of the ladder for now, unless I actually need it. It's a little hard to estimate which one is better, but I do feel like being able to deal a bunch of damage to all the enemies every single room by large floor damage that way it just seems nice, you know? Crooked Penny is going to be a little difficult to use as well, but we'll see what we can make happen here, I suppose. Watch out for the explosion. Maybe get ourselves a black candle. Nope. That's not what you want. I want this. Oh, good. <laughs> and it does re-roll between two items as well. Does this close it afterwards? What happens if I do this? <laughs> I've never done this before. Oh god, right, that re-rolls as well. Didn't expect the price to change between the two items, but fair enough. Uh, okay, what do we have here? We have a candle, which we can use to blow up some shopkeepers here, so that's actually not too bad. Might keep the candle. I kind of want to keep the crooked penny if I'm being honest, but it's a tricky one for sure. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. It either duplicates everything or it eats everything. And I probably should have... Maybe done something there with, like, consumables and things instead of just instantly hoping for the best. But, eh, too late for that now. Also a little tempted to play with that demon beggar for sure. But, yeah, Curse of the Blind is screwing me over a lot. I really hope that the next floor isn't going to be Curse of the Blind because I... I, I feel like I can get away with so much nonsense with the build that I have, I, as long as I don't keep getting Curse of the Blind. <laughs> That's really the main thing. That's some extra health. I feel like I have tried playing the Demon Beggar with, uh, with this before, and it just gets rid of it, right? But I want to make sure it doesn't. I feel like that one thing that I've had... Like, I've definitely lost the Eternal Heart in a silly way before. And I'm starting to not remember how and why. And it's it's all just a big confusing mess is what it is. Oh, Tech Zero. Oh god, that's a... Mm. Ay, 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 ay. I don't know. Like, tier rate's pretty great, you know? That's that's really the main thing. I don't know what to get rid of. <laughs> I don't know how good this sensor is, but I feel like every time I have it, I don't mind having it around. It does tend to make life a little bit easier, for sure. And also, I don't really know how much easier life becomes with Tech Zero, because as long as you don't have piercing, it tends to not be really be, like, amazing. Ah. Life is tricky. Whoop. Yep. There went the ladder. Which is a little unfortunate on the one hand, but on the other hand... 
I probably would have just left without it otherwise, so what are you gonna do? Yeah, if we get piercing, then this does become quite interesting. If we don't get piercing, it's fine, I guess, but not like super amazing. Alright, let's see if we can duplicate. Uh, or ruin our day a little further ahead. I guess we could use Crooked Penny in the Angel Room as well, but then I'll just destroy an Angel Room item most likely, and that's also just not great. Although, if it's a Devil Deal... Oh god, if it's a Devil Deal though, I do kind of want to use it. Yeah, I guess I'll keep it charged for now. If it ends up being an Angel Room, I'll probably not use it, but if it's a Devil Deal, or nothing, then I can always just go back. Ooh, <laughs> that's a room. I want all of these things. And I will take all of these things. How nice. This room, generally a lot scarier if you don't have all of the things I currently have. It does, yeah, look at how... I do like the sensor. It, it does make life a lot less scary <laughs> in many situations. The Forsaken, that's usually not too big of a deal. I'm hoping today is no different. It doesn't get slowed down from the look of things. Which I wasn't sure about, but now I am, and I will definitely forget this seconds afterwards, so that's exciting. Uh, stem cells, at least it gives me the health up, so that's nice. Um, boop. Another health up. Pretty cool. I'm gonna have a lot of health at the end of this floor. I guess I might as well just play the uh, machine again for a little while longer. There's nothing left in my shop. I need to get better at doing this as well. All I have to do is not use it immediately. <laughs> I wonder if those, those effects do stack, like the non-damaging effects, because if so, it becomes a little bit more interesting to just have a bunch of these next to each other for sure. Let's just put one over here as well. I don't think it makes any difference, but... It's nice to have a bunch of them. Uh, spin down dice instead of the crooked penny? Could be fun. Could be very fun. <laughs> oh god, does this also give you an option between two different items? Because that would make this a lot more interesting, especially since it would sort of nullify Curse of the Blind in a way. Uh, because it would just, well, kind of nullify it for sure. Boop. It does give me a choice between two items. Uh... <laughs> mm. Just checking something. Um... <laughs> I mean, this would be kind of fun, you know? But let's... Can you imagine almond milk, soy milk? The combination? The combination of dreams? Because I think... That would be hilarious. I don't know how well this is going to work, but I'm curious to find out for sure. I don't think I've picked optimally in terms of items that I'm taking along with me right now, but that's fine. We're just going to do our best with whatever we end up with here. And I, for one, feel very confident about all of my choices. That worked out. Uh, yeah. Might as well. Alright, so... If we could just, like, not get Curse of the Blind for one floor, that would be cool. Curious to see how that would work out. I haven't seen it happen yet. There we go. It's not Curse of the Blind. That's exciting already. We have decent Angel Room and Devil Deal chance. We have a lot of noise. I feel like the tier rate is surprisingly low for what is happening here. <laughs> But, fair enough. Boop. That's not quite what I wanted, but it'll do. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Uh, also, I might want to get rid of the Toxic Cloud right now, just because that's not going to do a whole lot with Almond Milk. But I might just also get rid of Almond Milk at some point, I suppose, because this isn't really doing that much. It's fun, but again, it would probably work better with Piercing. And now it just makes all my other items worse. <laughs> it makes Mulligan worse. Um, because the flies do a lot less damage. It makes... It just makes generally everything worse. So it's just not great. 
the electricity isn't really working out either, so... If we, if we find a shop with an item in it, then we'll be fine. We can get rid of it in um, the item room as well, so it's it's almost certainly going to go. But it was a fun attempt. The nice thing with this character is that you can at least experiment a little bit. Because if you don't like it, you can just get rid of it. I do need to stop taking damage from every single damage source in the game, though, because that's getting a little worrying. And I would like to actually find a room with an item inside it as well, because that is... A struggle. There's just a random soul heart. Yep. <laughs> That's fine. As long as we don't lose our angel room chance, I don't mind it too much, but obviously I would rather avoid it. Alright. Uh, there's a curse room there, which could have a secret room next to it. Would be nice. There is Super Wrath. If you could drop a Mr. Mega or something, that'd be lovely. That is a regular bomb, and also reason to believe that there is not a secret room next to the curse room, so... A positive and a negative at the end of the day, I suppose. Mm. Don't like this floor. I like very little about it. <laughs> I would like it to be a little bit more positive if possible. Also, I would love less pins because every single room so far has had at least a couple of them, and I am not appreciative. There we go. Very nice. Very lukewarm secret room right there. There is a sacrifice room, which could be interesting. If we don't get a... Uh, whatchamacallit. If we don't get an angel room, then that's probably going to be a guaranteed thing. Hmm. Tiny planet, though. That's kind of tempting. Because if... If I take tiny planet... I'm just a little curious. <laughs> Probably gonna re-roll it otherwise, but... This could be fun, you know? <laughs> I've changed my mind. I think this could be the, the build here. Because this gives a spectral tear effect as well. Oh, this is neat. This is really cool. Yeah, I'm sticking with this. This is way too much fun. Uh, PhD, that's not too bad. Instead of what, though? Probably instead of this, right? Because PhD is obviously pretty good. Like, you can just get better pills. All your experimental pills are good, so that's really nice. There's a shopkeeper here, which we can blow up. And we can reroll all this stuff, but... Kind of want to see what's in our angel room. What do we actually get out of this? Um, crook. Mm, well, we'd get two different items is really the main thing. So let's just see what we have over here. This is so effective. That's actually really cool. <laughs> uh, reap creep. That might be a problem. Uh, unless. Never mind. <laughs> I was worried that we might be slightly out of reach for reap creep, but I think we're fine. We're spawning so many flies right now as well with this. It's actually ridiculous. Uh, didn't get an angel room or a devil deal. That's not good. Okay, that means what we're gonna do is we're gonna get an angel... We're gonna get a uh, statue. Or an angel fight, at least. That's, that's the thing that I was trying to say there. Because I want to get a second key piece. And this is a way to do it. Uh, come on, you feel blessed. There we go. That's an angel room. Circle of protection or delirious. I mean, both are not great. So let's reroll that for... Uh, I don't care too much. I'm not... I don't recall if, if this is part of the conjoined trans... Or the... Oh, that's conjoined. Never mind. Oh, that's not great on either side of the coin. Okay. I mean, I'll, I might touch it just for conjoined, I guess. That's not too bad. But I don't really care about the item. Alright, so at least that gives us the second key piece, so that's nice. Uh, don't need to worry about that anymore. What else is left here? Oop. Ooh, stairway. Or dry baby. 
Um. Okay, yeah, this is a tricky one because I don't mind stairway. I guess I don't need this anymore. Hope it doesn't. It does change my tier rate a little bit, but not like a lot. Oop. That is, uh, what you would call it? Scapular activating. Loop. Let's just do that one more time. Very nice. That's exactly what you want to see. Uh, I guess I'll check out the curse room as well while we're at it. But yeah, we have a decent amount of money. Ah, oh, well, that's, I guess, also a way to get into the angel room. <laughs> Very nice. Um... Oh, god. Ooh. Ooh, euthanasia. Although consolation prize is also actually not bad because you keep the stat up afterwards, and I think that's going to be a damage up. Mmm. Also, my luck's terrible. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to take this. Let's not make things too complicated. Just take the damage up instead. Okay, this will this will work. Let me. I, I guess I don't mind being at half a red heart for now. Would maybe be good to get just red hearts in general, but this will this will work out. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, could do the challenge room as well, but I don't really need to. I guess I'll just leave like this. This is fine. I'm a little hesitant about PhD, all things considered, but that's really the only thing. I could also heal up a little bit here, but I don't really need to. I'd rather have the bombs. <laughs> I actually don't mind just getting the three bombs and leaving with that. Feels like a weird choice, but fair enough. With the amount of coins we have, then this uh, the stairway does become a little bit better as well. Curse of the Unknown's a little annoying. Ooh. Revelation. That could be fun. Oh, what do I want to get rid of, though? Oh, God, this is horrible. I hate this character. <laughs> I guess I could just get rid of the stairway and take this, but I don't know if that's a good call. But this does get flight, which is actually really nice. Also gives you, like, that, which is really fun. I don't think there's anything I really want to get rid of in my current build, except maybe for PhD. That's really the only thing. Because... Mm, it depends on how many pills you find, I suppose. But I could gamble on that for sure. Might as well blow up this one, because we're not going to do anything with that. Mm, I do want to keep all of the other items is the thing. Although scapular is questionable. I might get rid of that. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, because I don't really care about sacrifice rooms at this point anymore either, so I guess I'll just go with this. That's fine. Alright, so we have flight, so that makes things a little simpler as well. Uh, we're at full soul heart, so that's nice. We have that going on. Which apparently you can't change the direction once you start firing it, but we have a long-range attack available. And all in all, I'm having a good time. <laughs> It's tricky to pick between the items, but I feel like we have something going on here, at least. <laughs> I love piercing right now. That might be like the one thing to finish this build off, but honestly, birthright would simplify things a lot as well. What do we have? Uh, five more bombs, tempting. Especially since I'm probably just going to buy the item anyway. Yeah, I'm just going to buy it. Hmm, am I going to buy it? The thing about not buying it is that I can keep buying things from Stairway. Eh, I'm just going to do it. Don't overcomplicate things. I was kind of hoping for like a thing there as well, but fair enough. A best friend or fanny pack, obviously neither of these. I could have probably looked which one of those re-rolls better. But I really just saw a free bomb and just took it immediately. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Plus it's the second item, which I'm probably more interested in anyway, but I should... I forget how spin down dice can actually be amazing. And I should probably be more aware of that when I use them, rather than just thinking about the second item that I could possibly get. This is such a wacky build, though. <laughs> just a circle of death. I 
do wonder if euthanasia would have been a better choice here, but I feel like this is working out fairly well regardless. But euthanasia could be interesting, but I don't know how much damage it would actually do. Although it would probably destroy most regular enemies. So that would make it a lot more interesting for sure. But it's fine. I'm going to say that this is still working out fairly well. I do want that key. But it got a little hectic. Now we're a little bit late for the um, uh, such and such. For the uh, boss rush and hush as well. We are 37 minutes into this run, which is now in depth too. <laughs> I was not aware that we were that slow, but yeah, fair enough, I guess. Soul of Isaac, sure. Every day of my life, really. So that's pretty neat. Gonna just do one more reroll in the shop there, I think. Hopefully that's not a terrible idea. Nope. IV bag or little baggy. God, little baggy actually would be so good as well. Tears up, not bad. Eh. Neither would, like, the guppy pieces obviously would be amazing as well, but I doubt we're gonna get, like, a full guppy transformation at this point in the run, especially with the angel room chances that we have. Tears up. Like, this is where... Um... Mm -hmm. Is that conjoined if I take that, or is that no longer conjoined because I don't like the other items anymore? I tend to forget how that works. I think you still keep the transformation, but I'm not 100% sure. But I'm also curious how that other item kind of works with what I currently have. It is a, quite a significant tears down, though. Um, but yeah, I was definitely on a train of thought, and that has uh, left the station. So don't worry about that. Do not concern yourself with those thoughts anymore. They are gone. <laughs> but yeah, either way, I'm going to say this is going fairly well. Mm, yeah, there's hearts on the floor here. I'll lose the black heart, but that's fine. I'll take that. I'll take this. Getting decent health at least, so that's good. Don't need to worry about that anymore. Might as well get the extra money for the stairway as long as we're keeping that. Uh, haven't quite decided which direction to go into, but I'm a little tempted to go for the uh, dark room, I guess because of our red heart situation and all that. Um, was there anything I wanted to reroll at this stage? I don't know what I'm trying to get here because we've already found all the secret rooms, or at least the super secret room. Hmm. All right, so I can get one more reroll here with the little battery. Nope. Where is the secret room? I guess it could be next to the shop. Here. Nope. Over here, perhaps? Nope. What? <laughs> it's also not next to that thin room. Below the shop? Oh, that's an awkward place. I'm just gonna touch this just because I'm curious. Alright, so that was not conjoined. This is kind of an interesting combination, though. The multidimensional baby. Hmm. Because that's a lot of tears right there. And it does, it's fairly easy to hit tiny planet tiers with the multidimensional baby as well, so that becomes a lot more interesting. Hmm, yeah. Oh, game crashed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good reason not to take multidimensional baby, I guess. Uh, right, oh shoot. Uh, okay, so we... <laughs> I didn't take the staircase up, so we do not have flight or the good brimstone anymore. All right, that makes life a little bit different, for sure. Uh, my health situation is still fairly low at this stage, I do believe. Um, but I guess I can just skip everything on this floor and just go straight to the boss. I'm not really too interested in doing all that again. Hmm. I might re-roll the item room a couple times, I guess, but that's about it. That's a shame that that crashed, because that was actually fairly interesting, but... Uh, yeah, sometimes the game doesn't want you to have it. <laughs> Some builds are not for you, unfortunately. Don't need to enter that room. I guess knowing what the floor is like is a little bit nice as well, I suppose, but... 
Yeah, fair enough. I think if if it wouldn't crash, multidimensional baby, 100% would be the choice though, because that is so strong. I'm just gonna go like this though. This is fine. Because it basically duplicates your tears as well, and it just adds a whole bunch of stuff. I somehow managed to damage myself with the multidimensional baby as well. Like, I'm not even sure what happened there, but I heard a damage sound, and then the game crashed. So, I don't even know what was going on there. <laughs> it's all fair enough. Uh, might still go for the extra bombs, at least, because that would be kind of nice to have. But with that, we're just going to move on. We have decent angel room chances, I would say. Don't know what my health is. It's fine. Our damage isn't even, like, incredible or anything, but it is killing regular enemies really quickly. I think piercing would probably change that at least a little bit, but we don't have that yet. We might get that, I suppose. I'm also curious if we get, like, the holy brimstone now at a later point just because we haven't picked it up just yet there yet but we'll see i suppose all right so this is just free we can all we always have room for that so that's nice duality or wafer oof yeah i can't really say no to wafer that's just too strong uh right we can still get rid of scapular so that's nice uh is this no that's not a transformation i was curious if um what was I curious about? If one of these other items that I have, if this was like part of the, th the transformation, but it's not. It's not a part of Seraphim, so fair enough. Um, we could turn this into more money or another Angel Room item. Jar of Wisps is unfortunately not great. Not quite what I'm looking for, but Pageant Boy on the other hand. Boom. Seven coins. <laughs> yeah, super exciting about that. Um, let's just go. This is fine. We have a little bit more damage now, thanks to the negative, so that's nice. We have a holy mantle there, so that's fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Genesis is fun, but I, I would rather go for the holy mantle here, I think. I probably should have looked around a little bit more on that floor because there was uh, those tears up pills, but fair enough. Um, and I think... If we can get two more coins here, which we cannot. Oh, it's on sale. doesn't matter. Um, that if we take this, then we get the transformation and we keep it, right, afterwards? Because this is now a full Seraphim transformation. Uh, I guess I could just go like this. This is actually not that terrible either. Uh, instead of Star... Yeah, I mean, it would. we'd lose out on a couple shops, but that's really about it. PhD is obviously a rough one to get rid of, but uh, it's also not really that good. I mean, it's a speed up. That's really the main thing. <laughs> My movement speed's fairly terrible, but we might be able to get just movement speed from pills as well. Yeah, I might actually just go like this and hopefully we get some good pills instead. A uh, little fiddly here, but I guess we can just look the other way and not worry about the mimic too much because his tears do not circle around. It's, it's kind of nice to have some flight now, at least, so that's good. We still don't have that brimstone anymore, but we do have flight in some capacity, so not too bad. We have the spin-down dice available for whatever comes our way. We destroyed a beggar for a little bit more angel room and devil deal chance. There is a library, which becomes a lot more interesting with these dice. Um. All right. So what do we get if we re-roll this? Eventually, we'll get some cool stuff. Similarly, over here we get some garbage. So, nah, not really interested in either of these directions, really. I mean, I'll touch the books, I guess. I could just use that book of revelations just so we get a horseman fight. That could be good, I guess, but. Not really super interested in it either. Whoop. Alright, so this could become bookworm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that still works, right? Yeah. So that's nice. 
curious how the three dollar bill would work with this build, but I am concerned that it's also just going to crash the game to the point where I'm actually just going to click on exit game and continue just so we effectively get a checkpoint here, because quite frankly, um, I, I feel like the uh, if the multidimensional baby is going to crash it, I feel like this is just going to crash it as well, but uh, it can be interesting for sure. It certainly changes color every now and then. And uh, just yeah. <laughs> Let's re-roll this again. Mm, pyro is nice just for the bombs, really. Do either of these re-roll into a direction that I want to go in? Not especially. I'd rather have the bombs. <laughs> we keep the bombs. We can get rid of pyro afterwards. It's all good. Let's see if we can do that again in a minute. And I'm just going to hang out over here, above this rock, and watch the world get destroyed. I don't really need money anymore at this stage, unless we get, like, money equals power. That was the sound of a holy mantle being effective, so thank you for that. I would really love piercing. I really need to just look at how to reroll stuff properly with the spin down dice and just make piercing happen, because I think that's definitely an option, but I'm just not... Not really trying. <laughs> I'm not sure what I want to replace for piercing either, but there's probably something in there. Uh, probably PhD, honestly, is the most likely option in terms of items that I'd want to replace there. Just quickly gonna see if we can get a secret room or something like that, or at least a charge for a spin down dice. Also, I guess there is a bomb beggar there, which I guess I could give some bombs given that I have 99 of them. Which wouldn't be the strangest choice in the world. Worf. I have so many flies. <laughs> I understand that it's likely to get so many flies with this amount of tears that we're shooting and mulligan, but still. Ooh, Deadeye. Deadeye's fun. Um, but... Mm, that I is fun. <laughs> Especially with the build we have right now, but I don't know if I want to get rid of anything. I do kind of like the items that we have right now. But let's see if this works out. That's Bobby Bomb. <laughs> yep, that's what I just did. Don't worry about it. That is a choice I made on purpose. Woof. But yeah, that I would have probably increased my damage to some pretty silly numbers there, but that's fine. It's all part of my master plan. <laughs> my master plan of not getting rid of my many defensive options and to just win the run instead. Did not get what I wanted there, unfortunately. Uh, that's an interesting direction to go into, like, the, the bone tiers, because they would explode into many things and then probably crash the game soon after. But maybe not. Let's just get this, just because it's there, but... Hmm. What do we get here? Ooh, Book of Virtues is fun. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to go for this, right? I mean, there's really no downside, I'm hoping. Perhaps the Wisp is gonna accidentally re-roll an item in a way I don't want it to, but other than that, I don't see any downside. Mostly doing this challenge room for the recharge. Uh, also, I did not realize that Book of Virtue... Like, I saw that I replaced an item when I picked up Book of Virtue, but I didn't make the connection that I now no longer have that item for some reason. Uh, so I might actually end up getting rid of the Book of Virtues again, just because I don't need it that badly. Yeah, I didn't actually consider that uh, that would get rid of my slowdown item and take up a slot in my item thing. So fair enough, I, yeah, I get, it makes sense, I just hadn't made the connection. Might as well go in here, we have Holy Mantle. That... is a crown that's never gonna activate, so that's fun. Hmm, I could reroll there, I guess, but, eh. I don't really need to speed down at this stage. Do either of these re-roll into anything fun? Nah, especially. I think I'll just re-roll in the library again, just for the sake of having two more items. 
Not sure if the spin down dice on the two items available in the other place are good, but we'll see, I suppose. Um, I could take another health up, but I don't really need it. Just gonna touch this for the sake of it disappearing from my life. Mmm. Horror Babylon's never gonna activate. And I don't really need five more bombs either. I'm just gonna touch these books just so they don't end up appearing somewhere else. Use this tiny battery. We have touched many books today. And in a way, that is good. But yeah, I don't, Horror Babylon was never gonna activate unless I really wanted to, and I don't really care that much. So we're just gonna leave that alone. There could be a super secret room all over the place. I'm gonna try nothing. <laughs> just leave instead. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's just move on. This is a long run. I wasn't actually aware of how slow this run was going, and it kind of makes sense, I guess, because we are spending some time here. We did crash the game at one point, but still, it's it's taken a little bit longer than I had expected. Unfortunately, not a secret room next to that. Double lock room from the look of things. Maybe on this side. Probably not, though. Not sure if the wisp tier... No, the wisp tier just move forward. They do not move in circles with my tiny planet. Unfortunately, 10 more coins. Nice, I guess. <laughs> but I guess at this point we should also just move on. Just run to the end because I don't really need to use up the max amount of time to fully explore every single floor unless there is something that I'd want to re-roll, I guess. Secret rooms could still be fun. In case there is an item in there. Rock bottom would still be very interesting, I think. Just because we could use those, that almond milk. Um, we could replace almond milk for that and then still end up with the tier 8 afterwards uh, with, with everything. So rock bottom would absolutely be a worthwhile thing to try and get right now. Uh, need to find a secret room first though. And I'm genuinely not sure where it is so far. It doesn't look like there's any options from the rooms I've seen. But maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it could be over here. Here, I guess. No. My precious bombs. <laughs> the one resource I don't have a billion of. That's a lie. It's the opposite of that. But I guess it's working out. I guess having wafer and holy mantle and just so much lightning <laughs> spinning around me at all times. I guess this build is okay. Oops. Mustn't do that, though. Mustn't just run into enemies all willy-nilly. Uh, could be here, I guess, as well. Oh. No. This is a thin room, so there's not much hope on this direction, but still gonna check it out. Maybe it's over there. I have enough bombs to check at the end of the day. Three shopkeepers. Could work. Could be three 50% offs. Unfortunately, it was none 50% offs. Weird place for a secret room, actually. But I guess I hadn't explored the map fully yet, and now it's not now it's not that weird anymore. <laughs> um I'm just gonna blow you up. I was fairly sure I hadn't blown up a beggar yet. Obviously, getting the item there would also be kinda nice, but nah. It's all fine. Let's just fight a boss. Maybe open up a devil deal. Maybe open up an angel room. Get ourselves some sweet, sweet stuff. Got the slow down tears as well. It's just, it's just lovely. This is a lovely build. That's perfection right there because we haven't taken damage in a year. Um, don't really care about either of these. I'm gonna touch this for fun. Um, I don't think you drop anything, right? I don't know why you would. Because I have a full key already, but it would still be kind of fun if you could just drop an item that we could reroll. Even though it wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. Bean! Or Immaculate Conception. I mean, not bad items, but just not for this run. Does Perfection do it? No, Perfection doesn't really do anything for me. We're going down. I could technically still be some items on that floor to re-roll, but eh. we're just gonna keep going where we're going. I think this build is working out. 
I've come to the conclusion that perhaps this build is okay. There's a golden bomb there. I could have picked it up. I chose not to. Yeah, rock, like, rock bottom at this point is probably the only realistic thing that could change anything about our build. Just because it would increase my damage by, like, three times, I think, if we would find it somewhere. And for that alone, it is kind of still worthwhile to look for secret rooms, but other than that, I'm not really super excited about anything else, I think. Probably should at least get the golden bomb just for the sake of saving some bombs with floors like this, but nah. I think I can spare a bomb every now and then, especially if we just get three, like six more bombs in the secret rooms immediately afterwards. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Is there anything in the curse room, though? Hermit. For some reason, I was waiting for it to change into a different card while I was standing next to it. That doesn't work with cards, unfortunately. Could be kind of neat, I guess, if it would just do it with everything. Every single consumable just constantly switching between two states. That wouldn't stress the game out at all, I'm sure. That's just what Tainted Isaac does. He rerolls everything forever. And then rerolls it back again. That's the life he lives. Ooh, Envy. That could be interesting. Let's see how long this takes once the lightning gets going. <laughs> Drop an item. Ooh, it is an item. Mom's knife. I don't think that would actually do anything, unfortunately, but... Mmm. Mmm. Not super excited about it. In most instances, tech point five absolutely would, but in this particular very, very specific instance, I don't think it's quite what I'm looking for. Also probably should have tried to save that heart beggar there, because I think probably could have guaranteed an item with the wafer and everything as well, but now nah, what are you gonna do? I did not exactly try that hard to save his life there. But... Do we really need more items? We'll just get some good items on the next floor instead. I'm not even gonna try to bomb this because this is just gonna be a nightmare. Uh, lost the Holy Mantle immediately, but I think there's still some health on this floor anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much either. Just gonna hang out over here. Wait for this boss to die. Did the negative activate just now? It sounded like it did. But I feel like that's impossible. With my health being what it is. But maybe it was a black heart. That would actually make more sense. Yeah, that's probably it. There wasn't any health left on this floor. Ah, fair enough. We'll just find some. Are we gonna find some? Maybe we won't find some. I'm not sure where we would find some. I'm just gonna... Uh, let's blow up these things. At least we have infinite bombs. I should probably at least kind of try to find some more health before I accidentally die to the lamb or something like that. Which would be a very me move, but... Perhaps not what we're looking for right now. But unfortunately, no. Not gonna happen. Let's just keep going. Could have definitely explored the floor a little bit more, I suppose, but... Uh, too late. What do we have? Bloop. Bloop. Ooh, Damocles. <laughs> Maybe not, though. Sulfur's a little tempting, for sure, but other than that, I'm not really too interested in any of this. Mm. Am I not interested in any of this? This is getting awfully close to, like, Cricket's head, but I'm not sure if that would help out too much. This is also very close to Cricket's head, apparently. Ooh, the, uh, the, the gassy ones, though. Mmm, that's a guppy piece. That's, hmm, yeah, I don't know. I'm, temp I'm curious to see if Cricket's Head would change my damage all that much. Not sure if it's worth the health container to experiment with stuff like that, but might be. For now, we're just going to look for the lamb and not worry about life too much. It's just uh, going to be a nice little voyage. I guess ultimately it doesn't really matter too much either if we end up with Cricket's Head or not Cricket's Head given the damage we're doing. Really, I should just keep looking for piercing attacks rather than just whatever feels nice. <laughs> also, I should probably get that um, crystal ball, actually. Since I wouldn't mind having a map. Boop. 
Alright, yeah, that does help out. Because now I can just go in this direction instead. Would prefer if you didn't do that attack right there immediately, but it's fine. Ended up not actually hitting me, surprisingly enough. Be nice to get a build like this with just any other character because it is surprisingly effective. I guess not really that surprising, but still. I'm a little. Eh, it's a little surprising for sure. Can you please give me an item though? Nah. A pity. But fair enough. Also, not sure if I should be re rolling the items that actually cost health, but there's nothing else to re roll, so what are you gonna do? Ooh, that's. Awfully close to <laughs> to fruitcake, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. mm. oh, God, fruitcake is also one of those things that will just crash the game. <laughs> uh, Eden's blessing is actually a little tempting, just because that could end up being useful for the next run. Could ruin my day, but it could be good. Is that another, another mulligan? No, it's Scatoli. Oh, yeah, that's fair enough. Um, I'm gonna get Eden's Blessing. And if we find another pill somewhere on this floor, then I'll just take that, but... I do kind of like starting the runoff a little bit easier from time to time. I might actually just play like a difficult character the next run, but... It will likely be recorded on a different day than this run, so as such I'll probably just forget about it instead, as I often do with Eden's Blessing. But we'll see. For now, let's go fight a lamb. And then afterwards see if there's one more reroll that is in our system. Not sure if I want to get more than that. I mean, I could just do the entire floor, but... Uh, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> I, I definitely did not even attempt to dodge that very well. But it's okay, because we got Wafer and a large quantity of health. It's ever lowering, admittedly, but... If anything, we'll at least beat the lamb this run, so... We got that going for us. Nope. Even if we end up losing somewhere else now, at least the lamb will have been destroyed this run. That would be wonderful if... In terms of progress as well, so... Either way, this run is a little bit of a victory, but I would like to get Mega Satan done, because... The Mega Satan unlocks for the Tainted characters tend to be a little bit more interesting anyway. Uh, both of these are not quite what I want compared to the other items that I have. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do like two more two more rooms. One more reroll of the four room... four item room room room. And then I'm just going to do Mega Satan and call it a day. This run has been going on for long enough. <laughs> 55 minutes, a little bit longer because of the crash as well, but... Uh, is there anything that... Ooh, an Arky. Uh, does it help me that much with this character? It doesn't really do that much as this character, unfortunately. And yet... <sighs> and we also got just Dad's key over here as well, which... Makes sense, I suppose. I guess I could just also do the chest afterwards. Nah. Yeah, let's just give this a shot. Little bit low on the health side. I mean, I guess I also need to make sure that we uh, get, like, a delirium portal, which is definitely not guaranteed, but it could happen. This is also another instance where piercing would have been really nice because... So much of these things are just getting destroyed, but we do still have a lot of flies going on at least, so that's nice. Oh god. Little messy. And then a little envy. But we haven't taken damage yet this fight, so that's looking good. Yeah, if we get a delirium portal, I guess I'll just also go for the chest. That'll, that'll probably go a little quicker. But I feel like this run is very capable of actually just getting some stuff done, and that is kind of nice. So it would be nice to just get a whole bunch of progress this run. But we'll see. If we get no Delirium Portal, then the run will end in a minute. Or I could technically still just die, but I feel like so far the fight is going well enough. If we could just keep up this level of not dying, then we're good. 
because uh, yeah, nothing can really come that close to me. We, I, I don't know if we lost Holy Montoya yet, but I don't think we have because I'm a little glowy. Like things are, yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> things are kind of close to me, but overall we're doing a pretty good job of not taking damage here, so that's nice. The fact that we're flying helps out a lot as well, just because Creep doesn't bother us as much. Which can be a problem for sure. There we go. Angels. The electricity is also just so wonderful. The Tech Zero choice ended up just being so strong, com combined with all of the other stuff. <laughs> Even without piercing, this is still just so much damage. Unfortunately, Mega Satan is huge. Uh, this is a little awkward. Uh, I think it just spawned. Yeah, you spawned an enemy, but that's fine. One more phase to go. <laughs> Let's just create a web of electricity in front of him. But yeah, we have so we have like a full like wafer worth of health, so this would just be full health on any other time we do we would be doing this fight as well. So death is unlikely, but certainly not impossible with the attacks that this boss has. But I'm feeling optimistic. <laughs> I would love if he'd stop doing this though, because this is just a nightmare. It was like the one attack where the slowdown is a bit of a mess because I just have to wait for the attack to be over. So if we could just do like a flame attack or something, that would just be really nice. Admittedly, I could also just have taken the R key and then look for two more key pieces because we never actually took a devil deal. Finding two more key pieces would have been easy enough in a sacrifice room or something like that, but yeah. Don't worry about it. I like gambling on this a little bit just because I also wouldn't mind if this run ended <laughs> because it has been going on for a while. What do we got here today, Mega Satan? Yeah, fair enough. That's okay. We unlocked Mega Chests, which are big and fun. We have progress on Tainted Isaac. And most importantly, we had a run that was interesting, so it's good. Either way, hope you all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we'll do another run with a different character with Eden's Blessing, with, which uh, hopefully is going to help us out. And I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye. <laughs>